Hi and hello friends. Today I am going to explain the relation between thermal efficiency, compression ratio and specific heat ratio. We all know what thermal efficiency is and uh, we have referred what is a compression ratio and specific heat ratio. So how we can relate these two? And a one change in uh, any of these that means a uh, change in thermal efficiency or change in compression ratio or change in specific heat ratio how uh, it will affect. So in this graph, uh, this uh, this thing is explained what the relationship between thermal efficiency, compression ratio, and specific heat ratio. In the y-axis of this graph, the, the uh, shows the thermal efficiency, and the x-axis denoted the compression ratio. And what what we plotted in uh, three different colors is the specific heat ratio. We all know the specific heat ratio of pure air. Pure air is gamma is equal to 1.4 so as we add fuel into the mixture so uh, when we add fuel into the mixture the specific heat ratio reduces that means the maximum specific heat ratio we can achieve is 1.4 and when we add fuel it will reduce us to 1.3 1.2 and and uh, as the uh, as the fuel get richer uh, the gamma value will get reduced so uh, we know the thermal efficiency equation of a gasoline engine uh, which operate in an auto cycle. So from this equation we can say that by increasing the gamma value we can increase the thermal efficiency. So the, uh, the same thing is shown in this diagram. So we can see that uh, for the gamma value for 1.4 the thermal efficiency is higher and as the gamma value reduces the thermal efficiency reduces and wh what the other thing uh, that is directly uh, related to the thermal efficiency is the compression ratio so as the compression ratio increases the thermal efficiency also increases but uh, to a limit uh, to a uh, for different limits uh, the compression ratio uh, the uh, rate of increase of thermal efficiency uh, is different for different compression ratio so uh, after a certain period for the compression ratio greater than 60 the increase of thermal efficiency rate is very low but below uh, the compression ratio of 16 uh, the thermal efficiency rate is high so uh, uh, the rate is also different for uh, different specific ratios so uh, the arrow that this shows that the mixture getting richer as a specific heat ratio reduces so lambda which is the uh, ratio of actual air fuel ratio to the stoichiometric air fuel ratio for lambda less than one uh, the mixture will be rich for lambda greater than one the mixture will be lean so as as the specific heat ratio reduces the lambda getting less than one uh, so the mixture gets richer I hope you enjoyed my video if you like this video like it and subscribe and thank you for watching my video